and the very first final about to get underway. It's the men's 200 meters T53. So we're underway in the final of the 200 meters. T53, lanes three and four, realistically the ones to watch. And Lakatos and Fairbank are absolutely flying already as they hit the final bend, the turn for home. It's looking very good for Lakatos straight away in lane three. He's well ahead of Fairbank. He's on his way to glory. He's going to win the world title again. He could be down to the clock. It's going to be Lakatos all the way to get away. 23.79, and it's Payao with the silver for Thailand. And Jogni with the bronze for Great Britain, 25-7-9, unofficial. And it's yet another world title, the second of these games, and his sixth world title overall for Canada's Brent Lakatos, Ed and Payao, and Jogni. And that was a superb success. Brilliant racing from Lakatos. Well, if you were looking to look at Lakatos' previous performances across any of the World Championships, you'd consider him the hot favourite for this event, and he really pushed it from the gun, got out in front, and no one could catch him. Well, he's getting used to that now. The Maple Leaf, top of the pile again. Canada winning the men's 200 metres, T53. Lakatos retaining his crown. 25.79, Peo in second place, Jomni in third, and Fairbank, the European champion, just edged out in the end in fourth place. Well, the expert comments there from Evan O'Hanlon. Good afternoon from Will Downing. Tolson Tollett is with us as well for the 20 finals, 19 of which are remaining now today and a part of this evening's session. But Lakatos, absolutely magnificent again. <laughs> 